Oh, hiya. So, I sort of lost the video. <laughs> uh -huh. Towards the end. So, we're just going to start all over. And if you see dinner things, it's because then my internet also decided to die. I had to reboot a bunch of things, so I was kind of like, good time for dinner. Anyway, okay. So, we had, this is the December box for Once Upon a Book Club. We've already done the um, Up All Night New Year's Eve box, in which case, I already read the book. I took a page, uh, pun intended, out of the Scandinavian, Norwegian uh, tradition of reading, uh, uh, reading a new book on Christmas Eve. Sorry, I have to think about it for a second. Anyway, so I read that whole book. It's very cute, very, you know, easy read. Um, enjoyable. I don't know if it's going to stay on my shelf or not, but by the end I was like, are you kidding me? That's the ending. So I don't know if I'm going to keep that book, but the gifts, the gifts for it were premium. Um, anyway, so this is the December box. So let's crack into this because then I'm going to probably have to upload this before I can do the big bad one that we've all been waiting, especially me, like freaking four days to do. So anyway, all right. So in this month's uh, theme was follow the yellow brick road. And we have our little book here, fairy tale life of Dorothy Gale. So we have our conversation, discussion questions. It looks like we're getting four gifts. I can confirm. Um, and then on, they've also done an interactive map as well. So that's interesting. And then Earl Grey scones. I do like a good scone. This may be one of those recipes that I'm going to have to try and do like a couple of times because I live at a high altitude and sometimes... Recipes like this do not turn out well the first time. So, all right. So we have our book. And then I'm just going to hold that there and you can pause the video to read the back. And I'm going to leave it out along the side because I'm going to read it sometime in the next couple of days. So, and then we have our bookmark. You had the power inside of you all along. You just had to find it. As I oh, manage to drop things, which let me let me do this, and then we'll we'll do the other thing. Okay, so we have an author plate, and then we have the matching postcard. Well, postcard, author's note, whatever you feel like calling it. Again, if you want to read it, just pause the video. Um. So, and I ended up buying a uh, like a photo album binder type thing just a cheapy one okay uh, for all of these for the books I do keep because if I give away a book I usually or not give away trade sell it whatever I usually I include the uh, postcard and the bookmark and the author's plate to go with it but if I'm gonna keep it the author's plate gets installed and then I keep the matching bookmark and stuff so so, let's see, page 98. It's very cloth-like. I'm kind of wondering if it's like an eco bag or something. Well, I guess I'll find out in a couple of days. Page 215. I have no idea what that is. It doesn't sound jewelry-like, so, hmm. And 351, cloth-like again, but sounds like heavy canvas, maybe a messenger bag or something, I'm not sure. And then page 312, that kind of sounds tumbler-like. I know we just got a water bottle in the... Uh, 12 days of bookmas. So this might be another one. I mean, it's about the, the box is about the right height and everything. Ah, again, I guess I'll find out here in a couple of days. 
Yo. Okay, so now that we have those, what do we got left? So, Japan Crate is done. Um, <clears throat> Japan Crate is done. Pusheen is done. I love Pusheen. Don't get me wrong. I do love my Pusheen. But, uh, Pusheen was kind of always meant to be a short-term thing. Because while I do love it, I just, I don't have room all the time for all the things. But they're too cute for me to sell. So, yeah. So, like, right now, I have four semi-full <laughs> Pusheen boxes stacked on top of my printer. Which can't be lovely for my printer. Uh, so what else we got? Okay, so for January, what we got coming? We got the January Once Upon a Book Club box. We got the Unplugged book box Alice in Wonderland which I'm really looking forward to because I have like three different copies of Alice in Wonderland they're all different formats all different things like one of them is 150th anniversary hardback edition that has, Sal has Salvador Dali uh, paintings in it which is a really amazing kind of book um anyway so we got that coming in January we got the Funko a Marvel Collector Core box coming in January, which is blue Spider-Man themed. So I'm kind of curious what that's all about. Uh, and then, and then I think that's it for boxes. Unless, oh, 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 no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Because it's also Fukubuduro time. And if you don't know what Fukubuduro is, it is Japanese lucky bags. New Year's Day lucky bags to be precise, and I love it. I One of these days, I'm going to go to Japan and participate in it myself. But until then, so I managed to get my hands on the 2024 Mr. Donut and Pokemon um, Large Fukubudu. It's got seven pieces in there. I'm so excited. It should be here in about a week. Yay! Now, have I decided on any other um, New Year Lucky Bags yet? No. I haven't seen Segoy Mart put out a 2024 bag yet. When they do, I will most likely buy it. Because I'm a sucker. Um, the Disney one would just... Hmm. Sanrio one... Those ones are so cute, but they were like $150. I can't justify $150 just for cute. Again, don't ask. Um, <laughs> I might go find a couple of anime-themed ones on Etsy or something. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. Or maybe the Pokemon ends up being the only Fukubuduru for the year. I kind of hope not. That would be really sad. So... We got that. Uh, and then in March, I said I wasn't going to do another Twisted Retreat um, box, but it is themed End of the World or End of Times. The book sounded really good. So I was like, okay, we'll give it another another shot and see what happens. Hopefully it's not another box full of like nothing but knives. <laughs> Which if you don't know what I'm talking about... Go back, watch my uh, review of the other Twisted Retreat box, and you'll see it's it's all very usable stuff. Very, very usable stuff. However, there was like five different sharp pointy objects in there for survival out in the woods or stabbing people or what have you. So <laughs> I would feel really bad if the post office delivered me within... Four months, two boxes full of sharp pointy things. It would just be like, no. <laughs> so, doing that, uh, other than that, I think that's about it for now. Because then I am actually seriously working on packing up the house so I can go find a new apartment or a house by like April. And April is coming up quick. And I'm looking around my house going, oh dear God, I have so much stuff. So much stuff to get rid of, sort, and pack. It's insanity. Um, 
I, I kind of want to joke that I now meet the qualification for hoarder, but I'm not willing to do that quite yet. <laughs> but it is also that time of year where I need to do inventory on my books and decide what stays and what goes. So, anyway. <clears throat> Man, 10 minutes. That's not bad for us. So that's the December box. I got one more video to do tonight. It's it's a box I've been waiting for for a while. It is the Unplugged Book Box Romanticy. Apparently now, Volume 1. I'm not going to do Volume 2, though. I, I really just... Nah. Um, so yeah, we'll do that one. And I might just have enough time left on this camera to get them both in. So, I'll see you in a couple minutes. Bye.